Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Do you know where you are? Mm, yeah, we're here. Here, here where? At the auto show. We're here at the Canadian International Auto Show. We thought we'd uh, do something a little different today. Uh, instead of, you know, do you give you the reviews of products and stuff like that, we figured we'd come to the auto show and look at all the different cars and all the different EVs and stuff like that. So this is the Nissan Aria. I think it's, they call it the Aria. This is the Evolve Plus package. Now there's six different packages for this car, believe it or not. It all starts at around 44 and a half thousand US and they go up all the way, I think probably closer to 60 or maybe 70,000 US. Yeah, it's a 63 kilowatt hour battery pack for the standard. And then the larger battery pack is the 87 kilowatt option for the larger one. And uh, that's very similar to the Model Y. The, the range on this sucker is 216 miles for the standard and 304 miles for the uh, long range battery pack. It does zero to 60 anywhere from seven and a half to five seconds. The powertrain on it is a 238 horsepower with 221 pounds feet of torque it comes in six different variants so anywhere from a rear wheel drive all the way up to an all-wheel drive we drove this on a quick little test drive probably about an hour or two ago on on the ev test track and you know what it was very nice to drive inside okay let's take a look at the uh trunk space in here now you're a good hand model there vanna as it opens up here oh plenty space the retractable privacy cover i like that how it's on the strings yeah, lots of space in here. I can't complain about that. Very Model Y-esque little, little compartments on the yeah. side there. And frankly, you were saying that they did a good job in splitting the subfront here. So you can see it's continuous, but yeah. it's, these are pretty heavy. Yeah, like, solid. Yeah. yeah. Too heavy? <laughs> Try it. Yeah, I see what you mean. Try oh, and look, and they actually sit down here. Okay, that's cool. And there's even more space under here. Okay, that's where the spare tire is. Well, it's pretty good that they give you a spare so a common trend here at the auto show is we're trying to look at the uh, front space for all these cars that I'm showing you, but we're locked out of the front. A lot of the manufacturers don't want us going in the front for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, taking a look at the charge port here on the passenger side, it's just a typical press in, manually comes out like that, and then you flip it out. It's got a little access light here, a little convenience. Then you can plug in and uh, it's pretty good. And then to close it off, you have to close the flap and then close it a little spring-loaded action there so we're gonna go on a test drive of the nissan aria now we've been uh, awaiting this car for a long time it's finally here and uh, we'll see what, what a test drive is like okay so yeah I, I definitely see what you mean frankly the the screen is very vibrant is. traditionally right in front of you yep that kind of a i should have put my seatbelt on and i love the, the touch button yeah like the touch one you can feel it oh yeah it is got a haptic uh, feedback to it and it is all touch, touch sensitive interesting that is very very cool and this turns it off and this is oh that's through the volume yep and then that's uh, your power that's your power button so if i press it everything shuts interesting and there's six different trim levels on this and it starts at 44 and a half thousand and it goes up from there and now uh, everyone's different now with their uh, gear selectors yes. there's no standard anymore no. <laughs> so that's a push button for park and then down for d db b b is the the braking and i see what you mean there franklin there's it's very open under here there's it's no nice, there's no uh storage tunnel or anything yeah airy i still don't understand what the um that illuminated grill down there for i, I guess it's just aesthetics it is it, it's n nothing functional about it outside of providing some additional light for that area oh uh, just floor lighting maybe a accent lighting oh, that's interesting when i take my foot off the brake it's an automatic hold but you can feel the brake pedal slowly coming up um what I was going to say, I don't know what trim level this is, but it's got 91% and 
and we're at 317 kilometers. Now that range or that estimation could be off because of the test drives. Well, that's the yeah, that's the other thing, and that's good that you guys noted. If this was out on a event before and it was on a closed course and people are hammering yeah, on it, it's, that's, it's gonna, the it's computer to yeah. what it just had. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, the computer's good, obviously. I'm sure today's gonna scoot even further in the opposite direction. We should get some more mileage. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, let's see what the regen's like. Yeah, it's not strong, but it's actually I don't even know if there is any on this. There is. There you, is. You just you can. It's just be a matter of being able to adjust the modes. Uh, I know. I went up a little bit faster, and that's when I felt it. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Because so. it's creeping now. Like I, I haven't had my foot on the accelerator at all since <laughs> since I said let, let me see, and it's really yeah, it's yeah. it's going by itself. It's at a constant eight kilometers, nine kilometers. So let, let me go up in speed, like you're saying, and see what happens. That won't kill us, don't worry. Oh, it's okay. Oh yeah, from twenty, yeah, you can feel it decelerate yeah, there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and and the blind spot, yeah, that's it. It's like zoned area there. Yeah. Uh, actually, let me see when he comes up if, because I do see a symbol here. Yep. Probably, I guess, if we were moving at, over a certain speed. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a one in the front too, I guess, for yep. exactly for kids and stuff like that. And yep. then go straight into park. You can hear the e-brake come on. No, very nice. This is a, a step up from the leaf for sure. Yes. Nissan's done a good job. Now this has been in the making for a while. Move around the map. Is it responsive? Yeah. I, I just would say well, while you guys were talking, uh, lagged a little bit there, but the swiping back for it was pretty responsive, yeah. pretty smooth. And yeah, moving this around. And there's your full screen right there. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, don't ask me how to get back, but. Uh, Click the home on the far left. The far left here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, but yeah, very, very That's nice. smooth and uh, looks good. So let's take a step inside here and take a look at the Aria. Uh, like I said, we, we tested over this earlier. Uh, everything was lit up at that point. Let me see if I can actually put some power to it. Oh, no, no key. Once again, these legacy automakers, they all think that you need a key, but you don't need a key in this day and age. But anyways, there's no lights on it. But um, looking over here, we were looking at, at it during the test drive. It's like a touch, buttonless. It's just touch. Uh, you can see it outlined here. They actually light up when the car is powered up and everything. And it's a haptic fe feedback on all the buttons you press. It's pretty cool. It's very minimalistic look and feel to it. And I think um, Nissan's got a... A, a good car here on, on their hands. This is, you know, leaps and bounds better than, in my opinion, better than the uh, uh, Leaf. Cool little interesting thing here for the armrest here. It has a cup holder and this is where your gear shifter is. It has a little button here you can slide up and then it goes all the way back down, back, and it goes all the way back too. And then here opens up and it's got some uh, you know, wireless charging there and some small storage and i think they've uh, really nailed this one and they'll do good for any you, uh, you have it on your hands yeah i have it on my hands or in your hands in my hands whatever okay okay and that's the uh, nissan aria